I am Dr. Neema Bisht, BDS by degree and a pharma professional. Also, I am founder of Career in Pharma, wherein I provide guidance and training to healthcare professionals. I am on a mission to help 1 lakh healthcare professionals to attain financial security through career into clinical research industry. Hello everyone. Once again, I welcome you all to Career in Pharma. So today in this video, I will be talking about different verticals of clinical research. Uh, definitely not in very detail, but yeah, just, you know, just an overview. So that, you know, at a fresher level, if you are a healthcare professional or a life science graduate, and if you're looking for a job, then you should be knowing these verticals and accordingly you can find out job. Along with this, also, I will tell you uh, profile names job profile name where you can look for job at a very fresher level okay so whatever profile name i'm going to discuss in this video will be applicable for freshers only because at higher levels there are multiple profiles depending on what is your designation currently okay so let's begin with this video so uh, like I always talk about, uh, I always uh, say in my you know, past video also, I have said that clinical research industry is all about drug and diseases. Okay. So it's not just the clinical trials which are, which are happening. Whenever any clinical trial happens uh, from a pharma company or if a contract research organization is conducting the same on behalf of pharma company, then you know it's not just clinical trial there are many other activities and manpower required around clinical trial so as a fresher you can uh, purely work into clinical trials pure clinical trials clinical trial operations so you can work either at a clinical trial site uh, means hospitals where clinical trials are running or you can work from the behalf of sponsor or pharma company who is investing money into the clinical trials so if I talk about uh, the clinical trial site or hospitals uh, for example if you are in Delhi and you are looking for a job into clinical trials uh, site or any hospital so there are uh, I mean good number of corporate hospitals even nowadays government hospitals also have a clinical trial and pharmacovigilance wing okay but yeah definitely that is not very popular and in private hospitals like apollo fortis they have a dedicated uh, team dedicated department just for clinical trials also like uh, if i talk about in delhi Medan medanta medanta medicity is also a hospital which uh, has a different clinical trial wing it's totally different department so there you can apply for job as clinical research coordinator so this is a profile clinical research coordinator is a profile for freshers okay uh, suppose if any study is there which any pharma company wants to run at medanta then definitely medanta will be needing uh, manpower right they will need clinical research coordinator so in that case you can apply for clinical research coordinator so clinical research coordinator is a profile into clinical trial site clinical trial site hospital for which you can apply okay so you will be working on behalf of uh, uh, behalf of hospital if if you you will if you work as clinical research coordinator then it means you will be an employee of that hospital who is you know uh, giving the clinical trial facilities and conducting the clinical trial for pharma companies okay so you will be an employee of hospital payroll everything will be you know as per the hospital whatever is there you know standards are going on okay and uh, you will be kind of you will be uh, working as a you know connection between uh, the pharma company who is running the clinical trial there and between the investigator principal investigator of that particular clinical trial study okay see all these terminologies i'm not going to uh, give you detail in this I, I will just give you an overview in another video we can go on detail parts okay so this is about clinical research coordinator so you can work as a clinical research coordinator uh, at hospital clinical trial site 
another profile is clinical research associate so clinical research associate is a profile uh, uh, which you know which is there for uh, from pharma company and or a sponsor who is uh, investing money into clinical trial okay so clinical research associate also known as monitor and if uh, you know if there is any study for which uh, the company needs uh, CRA clinical research associates then definitely you can be a good uh, I mean good, suitable candidate so clinical research associates basically are the people definitely who will work on the behalf of pharma company or sponsor in that case payroll everything will be de de decided by the pharma company or the sponsor end. and not necessarily pharma company directly maybe any contract research organization is there who is working on behalf of pharma company then you will be an employee of that contract research organization okay so this is clinical research associate cra or monitor okay this is second profile for, for which you can work at a very fresher level so crc and cra are the two profiles for clinical trial pure clinical trial operations where you can look for job at a very fresher level now cl pure clinical trial uh, clinical trial operations is one thing one vertical another vertical of clinical research is medical writing now what medical writers do so see there are a lot of reports required during clinical trial and even after you know completion of clinical trial so let's say there is a clinical study report requirement yeah for every clinical trial there will be a csr clinical study report in that there will be entire report of the you know summarization of the clinical trial so for that writing that report medical writers are required okay so you can work as a medical writer uh, then again this is a uh, opening which is on behalf of you know uh, pharma company or sponsor and or you can be an employee of uh, contract research organization so you can work into medical writing also okay and the profile name uh, for uh, medical writers at a very fresher level uh, you can work as a medical writer associate okay medical writer trainee associate medical writer so these are few profiles at a very fresher level okay very fresher level i'm talking about here i'm not going into like higher levels okay so this is second one medical writing and see the work which i'm telling you that during clinical trial study reports are required this is not the only thing medical writers do there are many other things also i'm just giving you an overview and i'm putting it very in very simple words so that you can understand because if i go into details maybe many things will not be clear to you okay so this is about medical writing third part is data management clinical data management see nowadays data is a very important thing okay so everything is data actually so whenever any clinical trial is happening lot of data collections happen and uh, based on analysis of that data statistical analysis by using various statistical tools uh, the final conclusion of any clinical trial is generated okay so before you know uh, making analysis uh, applying statistics uh, the ma management of data is also required management you can say like you know arranging the data okay i mean in very layman terms data management is like arranging the data in a proper order for regulatory submissions and also for you know uh, making analysis of that data so you can work inside clinical data management which is an another vertical to clinical trial so for clinical data management uh, the profile names are at a very fresher level like clinical data management associate clinical data management trainee okay so at a very fresher level you can work inside clinical data management also now once uh, the you know clinical trial is over and uh, now when the pharma company wants to market the drug before that different kind of approvals are required right from regulatory authority once those approvals are completed and uh, once any clinical trial study is approved by regulatory authority then only any pharma company can market that drug okay so regarding regulatory submission getting approvals and everything now there is a different verticals those people take care of you know regulatory submissions and all timely submissions and uh, uh, timely reports and all those things so this is uh, like regulatory authority 
वर्टिकल ऑफ क्लिनिकल ट्रायल ओके रेगुलेटरी सबमिशन रेगुलेटरी अथॉरिटी सो यू कैन वर्क इन दैट वर्टिकल ऑल्सो एंड यू कैन बी लाइक यू नो रेगुलेटरी सबमिशन एसोसिएट समथिंग लाइक दैट यू कैन बी ओके सो दिस इज द प्रोफाइल नेम फॉर रेगुलेटरी अथॉरिटी सबमिशन पार्ट और यू नो इन साइड रेगुलेटरी डिपार्टमेंट यू कैन वर्क ओके another vertical of clinical trial is like uh, comes in role when the drug is in market after successful completion of a tri- clinical trial and after approval by regulatory authorities so that is post marketing surveillance or once the drug is in market then whatever check happens on the drug that is pharmaco vigilance we call it as so you can work in pharmaco vigilance also which is another vertical of clinical trial right because clinical trials are happening that's why pharmacovigilance is required so the profile names for pharmacovigilance are safety associate safety associate trainee pharmacovigilance executive pharmacovigilance officer okay so these are few profile names maybe one two more are there maybe i missed it but yeah i mean this is the number which is more than sufficient list which is more than sufficient so these are the profile names inside pharmacovigilance at a very fresher level okay so clinical trial operations is finished medical writing done uh, regulatory submission done data management done and then pharmacovigilance okay so these are the different verticals and i also told you about the profile name which you can look for job okay so the profile name which i mentioned today you can directly search for those profile names inside nokri indeed or linkedin right guys so this is all about different verticals along with different uh, profile name at very fresher level okay so in the coming videos i will come up with you know expansion of each and every profile name or every verticals also i will come up with those videos also so this is an overview how you can start looking for job for different verticals so a uh, few important notes before concluding this video is many people you know they ask me which profile is best for me or you know which profile is growing see at a very fresher level one advice from my end is just get into whatever you are getting be it be data management pharmacovigilance or clinical trial operation whatever you are getting just get into because see if you will simply sit and wait for any specific profile let's say many many people they say like i will work just in medical writing so don't wait because see if i compare uh, among all these options which i mentioned just now in clinical trial operations and pharmacovigilance the maximum openings are there okay otherwise uh, it's not that when in, in other profiles it's not very much uh, openings are coming so you can't wait and sit for a whole year just to wait for you know medical writing so just get into later on you can change your profile okay possibilities are there for each and everything you can change your profile later on also not a big deal but don't just sit and you know be like that you know i will just take medical writing and i will be waiting that for that okay so don't do that thing first important thing other thing is now many uh, many people ask me that you know which undergraduate is best for these profiles okay in that also see there is nothing like which undergraduate is best if you have a caliber potential and if you are ready for these kind of work after doing your research and then just get into whatever you are getting after your proper research and you know studying part okay so these are few important uh, takeaways and uh, if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and also please comment in the comment section that what next you want from me okay definitely i will be coming up with more videos like this and about different verticals and profiles i will be expanding these terminologies in the coming videos okay so till then stay safe and stay healthy and very soon i will come up with some next video thank you